we've all done crazy things. We have those days where we sometimes question, why is my life so funny? Is this something that is even believable if there wasn't witnesses? Okay, so as I continue on this journey, you heard earlier how a man accidentally gave me a Viagra when his wife handed him a pill bottle thinking it was Advil when I had a migraine on, a, on an airplane. This was just eight hours before what I'm about to share next, which I want you to stay tuned to the end because this is going to be really <laughs> an icebreaker of them all. We always say that, but then, you know, it's like, wow, sir, does it get any more crazy? But do you feel like you have those days? That's what I want to know. Please like and subscribe to this if you're not following. So I'm a literary agent. I represent um, Christian authors. And just like a real estate agent that sells houses, but I sell books to publishing houses. And I'm at a literary conference in Denver, Colorado. And I was so excited that I was meeting a colleague of mine, Amy Collins, and she's also a literary agent at Talcott Notch Literary Services, LLC, in Connecticut. And we were going to meet in the lobby and take an Uber to go to meet the authors. And she said, meet me at 645 in the lobby. So I go down at 615 and I'm like, I'll be early. I like to be, don't want to be late. Like to be early. You never know. And I'm like thinking to myself, why does she want to go get an Uber to meet or a Lyft to meet these authors when they're having this beautiful banquet right here? They're having salmon, they're having filet, they're having, you know, lobster tails, they're having all this great stuff. And I'm like going, okay, well, I'll just get some food and mingle and say hello. And I just landed, so I was wearing like a t-shirt and jeans and I wasn't really dressed up. And I walk in to this banquet hall in the Hyatt Regency in Denver, Colorado. And I'm like, get some salmon and, you know, some hors d'oeuvres and brie cheese and crackers and all that fun stuff. Go to sit down at a table and I'm like, hi, I'm Dennis Schleicher. I'm, I just flew in from Connecticut. And they're like, oh, you know, um, and I said, so what do you do for work? And they said, oh, I'm, the woman said, I'm a nurse. We're all nurses. And I said, oh, what kind of nurse are you? And she goes, I'm in anesthesia, but specifically for, um, gastrointestinal, rear admirals, as she called it. And I says, oh, proctologist. I have a lot of experience with proctology. I said, my great grandfather used to go to the same proctologist that my grandfather went to, that my dad went to, that I went to when I was in my early 20s. And I realized something wasn't going on right down there. And grandma says, you gotta go see Dr. Spear. He is the proctologist. And she goes, your proctologist was named Dr. Spear? That's hilarious. So we're talking and she goes, well, I knock people out as a nurse. And I'm like, oh, anesthesia. I call it Anastasia. I said, we go way back, me and Anastasia. I'm a hoot. She goes, yeah, we've heard them all. So I start telling her these stories. She's laughing. The other nurses are laughing. And she goes, oh, are you a doctor? And I says, oh, me? Heavens no, Dennis is not a doctor. I'm a literary agent. She goes, oh, we're talking. I don't know, a lot of people do not know what a literary agent does. And apparently, I don't know if she did. But we were laughing, having a great time. And finally, you know, everybody starts clapping. And these men in suits get up and they're at the microphone and they're saying, oh, we're so glad that you enjoyed this conference, and I'm thinking, enjoyed this conference? It hasn't even started yet. I'm like, what's going on? So she goes, uh, they go, um, and I'm listening, I'm looking over to her and saying, the nurse that is, and I'm smiling and listening, and I'm just finishing my salmon and <laughs> my lobster tail. And I go, um, <laughs> and she, and the doctor, the guy goes, yeah, we're so excited for you to use our new scopes when you go back to, you know, practicing, we're so excited that you get to use our new, you know, um, proctology equipment and, you know, so on and so forth. And I'm like going, 
oh, this doesn't seem right. So I lean over to her and I go, excuse me, is this the writer's conference? And she goes, no, this is the urology and proctology conference. <laughs> oh, Dennis, you cannot make this stuff up. Let me know what you think. And I know my friend Sandy in Utah is watching this and she's probably going, oh, Dennis, because she was a nurse and she had some funny stories happen to her. <laughs> Which I'm going to share those stories later, but I have to ask her permission to say, so Sandy, can I tell the story about when you were told to get the consecrated oil <laughs> in, in um, when you were nursing? I think that would be great. And let me know if you want to hear Sandy's story in the comment, because that's a great story. There are some stories that I can't share of my friends, but I know I can probably share that. So let me know and let Sandy know by commenting. I'm sure she would love to hear that. <laughs> the story about the consecrated oil. That's a good one. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please stay tuned, subscribe, like, share it on Facebook, Pinterest, 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 one of those. Um, any social media. If you're on Twitter, share it. It's, uh, let's see what you think. And it means a lot to me. Have an awesome day. And if you do something crazy in your life, be sure to laugh at yourself. <laughs> because if you can't laugh at yourself, who can you laugh at? Right? Yeah. <laughs>